hello friends welcome to my channel in this video lesson we will see how we can calculate net salary of five employees using an array but before start coding let's try to understand what an array is an array is a collection of similar elements or entities an entity can be ints floats or cars the array of an ints and floats is simply called an array but the array of character is known as string in this image nums is the name of an array five is called the dimension of an array or size of an array and int indicates it is an integer array note that array elements are always stored in continuous memory location in this image we are considering the address of first element is 4004 and the address of second element is 4006 so there is a difference of two between two elements because we are dealing with an integer array and integer takes two bytes of memory so the difference of two the g inside the element indicates garbage value like an ordinary variable an array element by default contains an unpredictable or garbage value if we create an array of floats then there is a difference of 4 between two elements as float takes four bytes in memory note that the first element has subscript 0 and the last element has subscript 4 the first array element is indicated as nums of 0 the second array element is represented as nums of 1 and so on now we understand what an array is so it's time to understand it practically so let's start coding hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h void main opening brace closing brace in this program we are going to calculate net salary of five employees so we need five arrays for that float bs subscript five basic salary da dearness allowance subscript five comma hra house rent allowance subscript five comma pf provident fund subscript five and net sal subscript five int i index variable for loop clr scr print f backslash n enter basic salary of five employees for i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus opening brace closing brace okay can f percent f because we are dealing with float arrays m percent ds subscript i semicolon note that our array index begins with 0 and it ends at 4 that is less than 5 because the first array element has subscript 0 and the last array element has subscript 4 that is less than the size of array 
ओके नाउ कैलकुलेटिंग डी ए एच आर ए पी एफ एंड नेट सैलरी एंड प्रिंटिंग नेट सैलरी आल्सो इन वन लूप सो फॉर सेम लूप वी नीड आई इक्वल टू जीरो आई लेस देन फाइव आई प्लस प्लस ओपनिंग ब्रेस क्लोजिंग ब्रेस considering da equal to 80% of bs so da subscript i equal to bs subscript i into 80 by 100 considering h r a equal to 15% of bs so h r a subscript i equal to bs subscript i into 15 by 100 considering pf provident fund equal to 10% percent of bs so pf subscript i equal to bs subscript i into 10 by 100 okay now calculating net salary so net sal subscript i equal to basic salary plus da plus hra minus pf so bs subscript i plus da subscript i plus hra subscript i minus pf subscript i so calculation of net salary is done now let's print net salary so print f backslash n net salary of employee 1 that is percent d equal to percent f comma i plus 1 for first employee comma net sal subscript i bracket complete semicolon and get ch okay save the program as net sal dot c compile it to make sure that there are no syntax error in the program so alt f9 now i am going to run it using control plus f9 so program is asking for basic salary of 5 employees so i am entering say 12000 for first employee 15000 for second employees 18000 for third employees 20000 for fourth employee and 22000 for fifth employee and you can see the net salary of five employees so that's all for this video lesson Don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch the upcoming interesting video lesson. If you have any queries regarding this video lesson, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.